Hello and welcome. I've been experimenting this time with construction techniques for slippers and socks. I, I really like trying out new techniques, but I also want to end up with something usable in the process. And I think slippers are a great way to experiment with a sock and slipper construction techniques and not have like oodles of time invested and still get some solid experimentation in. These particular slippers, um, which I highly recommend if you've never done slippers or socks before, well, slippers before, I, this is a chunky slipper sock pattern. Uh, it's free pattern from Church Mouse Yarns, and it's very simple to do. You start off with uh, casting on six stitches and you do so many rows of stockinette and then you bind off and then you pick up along the three edges and you start knitting out. You knit for so many inches and then you get to this point and you've got a cable cast on to join in the round and then you continue oops, knitting till you get to this point where you do some basic knit two together, slip slip knit to decrease for the toe, so off the end and bing bang bada boom you're done super quick i'm a slow knitter and i finished a pair in a day so i used roan cocoon which i happen to have and i believe that's what the pattern calls for um very cozy and uh lovely the only mm, fiddly bit was casting on this wasn't bad it was cable cast on but then rearranging the stitches to get the middle of the cast on into the end of round, beginning of round section, so that you would have your four DPNs poised to be able to easily figure out where your decreases went. Um, that was a little fiddly. If I were to do this pattern again, which I will, um, I think I would knit a couple of rows before rearranging the stitches, um, and that would have been a lot easier, for me at least. So that was this. My only complaint about the entire process was that I had to wait two days after washing and blocking for them to dry. <laughs> you know, Colorado's a pretty uh, dry climate here where I am, but two days because this yarn seriously holds the water, but very cozy, very squishy. So I'll be doing another pair probably several for gifts and for me. All right, my next experiment involved or was inspired by these. All right, it's in the 2014 uh, knitting traditions. So quite old. Um, the thing I like about them, other than it's based on a pattern from like, some socks that they found in the 1500s, which I kind of like the historical element of knitting. Um, but this is a basic heel flap, and then you seam it underneath the heel uh, together, and then you pick up the stitches for the gusset, and you start knitting forward and join in the round and come down to the toe. And uh, so I thought, I really want to try that. But this pattern is using a light fingering weight yarn, and they're getting about, um, let me see, nine stitches and 12 rounds to the inch. That, that's a huge commitment for a, an experiment. So I thought, what can I do? Well, first of all, I'm gonna shorten it. I just wanna do slippers. I don't want knee-high slippers. So I just wanna start above the ankle. And then I thought, well, I have some worsted weight yarn. And uh, I'm so what will happen if I use worsted weight yarn and I knit them on a three millimeter needles? Well, what happens is that I get, if I work on the small size, I, the math works out where I don't have to do any modifications to the pattern and I'll get a pair of slippers that fits me 
based on the sock size for the small sock using worsted and three millimeter needles. Because I'm getting like six stitches and eight rounds per the inch. So it worked out pretty well. Doesn't always, but this time it did. So I am working the heel flap right now. And like I said, you'll work the heel flap and then you will put it together, right sides together, seam up underneath the heel, and then pick up stitches and move forward and join in the round. Um, I think it should be fairly straightforward. We'll see if the worsted weight seam bothers me or not. More on that in a later post. So I'm fairly excited about that. And if I like this construction technique, I'll definitely go back and do these cute, cute little knee highs. I never wear knee highs. I'm kind of a uh, crew sock kind of gal, but I kind of adore this little, it's hard to see, little garter ties that are attached to the sock. Anyway, I'm goofy. I can see myself wearing them with them. Um, it reminds me of socks that get worn with kilts. Anyway wear it with a skirt or something and do crazy colors. That's the plan anyway, po possible plan. So those are my experiments for uh, construction techniques for socks. And I, as always, will continue to experiment because I like to do it. And uh, if you are experimenting, I'd love to hear all about it. Take care.